All right, all right, you guys ready? You guys ready? All right, good puppies, go get it. Go get it and don't bring back any parts of um, Bigfoot, please. Please don't bring back any parts of our, I just realized that throwing the uh, toy right up against where we have a giant dinosaur may not be the best thing. Good job, Lily girl. Tate, you didn't even try. What's up, Tate, Tate? Okay, go that way. Go get it, go get it. Who's gonna win? Who's going to win? Who's going to bring back? Oh, oh, Tate, Tate, Tate. <gasps> Good job, we're, we're one for one. All right, come here, you. come here. Come here, Lily, come here. We gotta make it fair. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? Who's the good pups? Who's the good pups? All right, and go get it. Go get it, go get it, go, go, go. No, yes, maybe. No bone chasing? Was, did I throw it too far? <laughs> All right, fine. Then we're one for one for one. Mom got one, Tate got one, and Lily got one. But oh my goodness, you silly, you silly geese, you silly pup pups. But hello everyone and good morning and welcome back to Zootessia. As you can tell, I am very happy to be home. It is just so wonderful to, to be among our zoo again. And I have been doing a lot of behind the scenes work. Oh my gracious goodness. You guys are about to see quite a big surprise when it comes to planning out Zudesia. No, oh my gosh, I think I see one of my boys. I think I see one of my boys. Look, it's Junior or JJ. Oh, we need to take them. We need to take them and we need to take the pup pups. Lily, where'd you go? Okay, Lily, remember what I said. You cannot take bits and pieces of Bigfoot, okay? Bigfoot is a present from Calf and Lubot, and we're going to leave it there. So I need to, like, give him a little stand, or maybe, like, put a little fence around him again. Maybe. Maybe. That should be a good idea. Might, maybe a little sign. Don't be alarmed if he vanishes temporarily from view. Ah, but yes, there have been some amazing developments here in Zudesia. I've been working very hard at getting a very special part of the zoo prepared and built and good to go. And I'm very excited to show it off to you guys in just a moment. But first things first, we did have a couple um, incidences last episode. First off, thank you so much, you guys, from the bottom of my heart for being so sweet and kind to our new intern, Toby, and wishing him happy birthday. And many of you chimed in and said, oh, it was my birthday today, too, or yesterday, or the day before. So, a big happy birthday to all of you, because, oh my goodness, it's just so fun to see how big our community is. And if it's been your birthday three or four months ago, in fact, it's really cute, because people who find my last birthday episode still leave me happy birthday wishes even though my birthday was in March and you know what it's kind of it's kind of charming to get a birthday wish in the middle of like winter when my birthday was last spring <laughs> so thank you so much to all of you who constantly are wishing me happy birthday as you discover those episodes and happy 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 birthday to all of you guys too I don't care if your birthday was like last summer or next week happy birthday so there now that that's out of my system, because that was awesome, we need to uh, notice something that wasn't so awesome, Lily and Tate, that wasn't so awesome indeed, and that would be the passing of Dolly. I am afraid, my friends, that we probably need to move Bob the Third from his home in there, and it just occurred to me a little bit ago that I know the perfect place to move Bob's family. We'll move him out, and we'll turn the bird aviary into a proper bird aviary. And we'll move Bob out and into a new apartment and a new tree right there. He can have a tree up like a little terrace, kind of like Sunflower does. We'll build Bob and his family a protected terrace up there. They can have their bodyguard roaming around. I'm thinking like right there. I'll build Bob a little terrace so that his family can move on up. They are moving up from their tiny tree to a big tree. And to celebrate Bob's move, eventually we're going to have to find Bob's wife. I know that's so weird, finding our sheep a wife. But it was just a fun story plot thing that's been going on for a long time, and we are going to continue that. So we'll have to discover a desert village, a desert village, Lillian Tate. Might take me a little while to find one, though. But for now, oh my goodness, music. I keep telling you no, no, and you keep coming back. It's just a little distracting. Hello, everybody, and I think... I think that this kitty cat's name is going to be Trinity because you guys have come up with a lot of great names that had to do with threes and then also a lot like a 300 since this was the kitten born on our 300th episode and I think that Trinity actually is just the name that I really like I really really like it so we're gonna name him Trinity when I get a name tag 
Do I have any? I don't think I have any spare name tags. So I'll have to. I'll have to pop those in. I really should just make it so I can buy them from someone. But all right, let me gather these up, and then Dolly, unfortunately, suffocated inside of a wall, which made me think I need to give Bob and his uh, adoptive clone mother a little bit more room. Um, okay, we're gonna put the concentrated essence berries there. And we're going to put all of our ore berries downstairs now that we can stick them into our smeltery, which is totally awesome. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and add all this aluminum. There's that. And let me put these away and add more aluminum just to keep this. I love this smeltery. And actually, that's another project that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to clone Dolly, the, like Dolly the sheep. We're going to clone Dolly the sheep again. Ooh, some copy DNA. By hopefully uh, getting, hopefully getting some results from there, and we also, my friends, we tried to fight off a spider last episode, if you recall, and we used what I thought was a pretty cool skeleton sword. I was like, oh, this is awesome. This will, this will help us fight. It's a really awesome sword. It takes out werewolves, and you know what? It sucked. It sucked. It, I could have killed that spider faster with my own fist. So we have another big project we need to do, and that's going to be to smelt ourselves a new sword. We have the awesome smeltery courtesy of the amazing Dragon's Hold Village. And so we've got the smeltery. We need to add more layers to it and build it up, but we can get some very unique ores. Um, let me see if I can pull up. Tink, tink, tink. So you can get a lot of very unique uh, blocks, unique metals that you can mix together from the different ores and minerals. I mean, look at how cool they look. And I've always wanted to kind of dabble in this. I just never have because we've usually just had Calf like do it for us. But it's been something I've wanted to get into myself. So we can make some manulium. We can make uh, some cobalt. We can make a lot of different things. And you make the bits and pieces of your tools. You get the patterns and you mix them together. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make some really fun tools. And I think some of them will be just silly weapons. Some of them will be all Awesome. I mean, come on. A cactus sword. That seems so me. And we also need to remake our awesome pickaxe because unfortunately we lost purple rain when we jumped through that portal to the bug world. So I'm going to have to make myself a new pickaxe too. But that's okay. I kind of wanted to learn how to do those things anyway with their smeltery. But that's on top of cloning Dolly and on top of the other awesome projects we have coming up too. Oh, drat. Okay. That didn't work. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can clone her. I feel so bad. Okay, let's put this back in. That's Dolly. Hey, lab chicken. Hello, Professor Cowplant. Let me see if I can just get this last bit. I wonder if there's a way to make this. Oh, it's out of lava. I was like, it's taking a long time. Okay, so we're going to also have to work on getting lava to power this entire thing. Drat. Okay, it's out of energy. <laughs> We'll have to work on getting some more lava. So that's something too. Let me put the Kelican egg away. And then I'm going to show you guys. So that's that's adding. Ah, you know what? I need a new list. I need a new list. I know this is going to be ridiculous. I have so many lists already. But it's, it's a fresh start. We're in the 300s now. I want a fresh list. Here's a clipboard. My new list. Mine. My list. Okay, let's see. All right. And then it's uh, going to be Zudesia tasks. There we go. Clone Dolly the sheep again, and then we also need to uh, f div or let's see lava infinite lava pool lava pool and expand Junior and JJ's house. Whoops, yeah. Move Bob three to uh, Sun Tree. There we go. Close enough. And then, let's see, because this, this is just stuff we've been talking about, like, in this episode alone. Um, make powerful new, make new, I should say, make powerful weapons. There we go. Make powerful new sword and things like that. I would love to have a cactus sword. That just sounds amazing. We'll have to figure out how to make one. Because uh, we don't have anything for defense now, because this sword sucks. Let's see, anything else? Not off the immediate top of my head, but I do need to show you guys what I have been working on in the zoo. So let's see, is it almost nighttime? It is almost nighttime though. The sun is setting. So let's go ahead and pop into the back garden for just a moment. We'll harvest it up. My goodness. My goodness, do I even have an axe? What? All right, well, we'll gather up some of the berries. 
just to pass a little bit of time while we wait. And then let's gather up these peaches. Peaches are so yummy. Oh, we should do something delicious with these peaches. Oh, yeah, and I need to get more sugar. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I don't have enough sugar. How's the queen bee? She's doing fine. We're going to take out this honey and this wax comb, though. Gather up these apples. I do love apples. Big apple fan. All right. Eh, eh, eh. Are you guys not ready yet? No, they're not ready yet. All right. And then we're going to run inside and go take a quick nap in the staff lounge. Also, I should put some carpenter's things right there, too. Hello, Artemis. How are you doing, darling? Oh, I love being home. It just feels right to be home, you know? Just feels like I know where my things are. I know where I'm supposed to be. Let's put these away. There. That's better. I hear you new sheep. Or goats, I mean. There we go. But yes, let me show you guys what we have been working on in the zoo because it is going to make everything so much easier and I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I am doing proper zoo management. Proper zoo management, Lily and Tate. We are working hard. We are working very hard, you two. And actually doing some proper work. So, I'm going to show you. We're going to come this way. As you can see, for one thing, the pathway has been changed and Old Tell has escaped again. Just a normal day. Oh, look, Old Tell has cloned himself. Good job, Old Tell. <laughs> Dang it, Old Tell. I don't need cloning snakes. Drat bucket. That's okay. Come here, come here. Yep, you stay over there, you stay over there. How many, how many? Okay, so we have cloned Old Tell snakes. Good to know. Good to know. How many are hiding in here? This is a very odd little structure right here. I don't recall... I don't recall doing this. Huh. I'm gonna have to check that out. There's the rabbit, Drew. What are you doing in here, Drew? I honestly have no idea what this rabbit's doing in here. I don't even know. Like, half the time I think my animals, like, party while we're off adventuring. Drew, come back! Party while we're, we are off adventuring, and then I come back and find that they've been up to all sorts of hilarious things. Tate, come on! Come on! Tate, come on! I gotta close that door! Drew is getting away, Tate! Lily, thank you! Thank you! Tate! Oh my goodness, Tate. Now you're stuck in the gate. Come here, Drew. I gotta get you back where you belong. Do do do. Ba -dum -da -dum. What's going on down there? Oh, Bunnerell is just being silly. There you go. Hey, Fluffy Bunny! Hey, Rabbit Keeper Flora! I have returned one of your charges. She was trying to go who knows where. Alright, there we go. So, <laughs> apparently we have cloned snakes. Like, I, I really do feel like half the time my animals are just partying here at the zoo without us. And then we come back and they're like, crap, everyone, back to your exhibits. Hurry, she's gonna notice. Oh, and then I just realized we're still missing our cougar. So we need to expand cougar exhibit and then to catch new cougar because we need to look up some new cougars hopefully related to the descendants that we released of our amazing myla so there's a lot to do i'm excited though so many projects i love having projects it's just so fun we have added some new lamps into this little oak oak pathway that we need to deck out i can hear the deer yelling and then Here's where it begins, my friends. We have paths! We have proper paths in the zoo! Oh my goodness, so you can actually walk from place to place. Look at this! Look at this! It leads from the forest zone, comes over here, it splits off so you can go over to the temperate zone if you want to. There are the temperate bird aviary. Or you can keep going, you can walk up here. You can see the absolutely beautiful... I mean, look at how much it changed. How awesome! Our snake like house our reptile house looks we need to add more of I'm gonna add more of the uh, sloping glass to kind of give our snake house a little bit more of that slanted look and then we've got this amazing front yard with these amazing little pathways and look look our awesome snake sculptor has left several large snakes snake sculptures in the front she was commissioned and was willing to add these in and look at it look at it you can walk through it into our little bonsai garden Oh my goodness, doesn't doesn't it just look beautiful? These snake sculptors add so much. So much. I love it. I love it. Let's go give a high five to our snake sculpting wizard. Where is she? Quinlan, Jasper, how you doing? Hey, Kate! Kate! Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's a it's a moth. <laughs> Kate, my friend! Kate, high five! High five! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So Kate has built these beautiful snake sculptures in the front of the awesome 
reptile house, which we still need to deck out and update a little bit, but it's looking good, looking good. And we still have this awesome path. I am so in love. I could just roll down this path forever because I'm so happy about it. Oh my goodness. And you can still walk down here into our lovely little bonsai garden. Beautiful bonsai garden by Caitlin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then you can walk over here to our absolutely amazing, amazing garden by Shorty's Gaming right here. And then you can come over here. And there's more path, you guys. There's more path. And this is going to lead to our Asian forest exhibit. So you can walk through here. There's a nice big three-lane three, three lane path, three-block path. It's got some little bridges just kind of interspersed because this is actually over a giant hole in the ground. And I was like, you know what? That's just a hole in the ground. And so I patched it up with dirt on either side. Yes, Lillian Tate, I know. Isn't it wonderful? And I put up lamps because I was tired of having things try to spawn on me. We're going to actually probably replace all of the sand with marble uh, or something. Maybe, maybe like we'll build another one of the koi looking ponds, kind of like we have over with this tree. Let me show you guys what I mean. See, like with those blocks right there, we've got the small cobblestone tile and it makes a really nice kind of, um, you know, Asian garden look. And I think we'll do that again over here, only on the larger scale. And so we'll make this into a really pretty pond. We're going to have bamboo everywhere. We're going to have an NPC who's going to be arriving, another intern soon, who's going to be here. And he will sell us the bamboo that we need to spread throughout this area of the park so that we can expand uh, the, the jungle, expand the bamboo forest. So that should be fun. Then more path. I mean, I, I'm just so in love with the path. And these dirt, this is the chiseled dirt from the chisel mod. It's just so beautiful. It's just gorgeous. I cannot get over the chiseled dirt. It just has this nice clear line to it, so it creates its own natural border. It's perfect, but I like blending the chiseled dirt with some other blocks, so you've got a little bit of variety. And I love organic shapes. I know calf is all about like the straight lines and the or like the the very um, symmetrical looks to things, but I just couldn't, if there was a place where I could move the path a little bit, I totally did, because I liked keeping it kind of organic and flowing. It shrunk down here, because we've got these beautiful itty bitty little flowers and little mushrooms and things like that. So what we'll start finding is that where there's not enough room to stick an exhibit, we'll start sticking like a tiny garden little fountain, decorative pieces, maybe an informational booth that has a chest with books that you can read about different facts about the natural world, Lily. Oh, I would love that. And the path winds around here to where we have our wonderful bridge that leads over into the quagga area. And so the dirt changes because now we're in the prehistoric pathway area. Our amazing quagga. What's up, awesome quagga? Whoopsie doops. Whoops, a doops, I just destroyed that barley. We're gonna have to keep a chest around here filled with barley. So actually, we're gonna have to take sunflower back pretty soon to go get more barley. Because once you destroy it, it goes away. It doesn't just pop up so you can plant it again. Um, but you know what? That's kind of realistic because it's like the quagga are eating the barley. And also, I realized we need to go get our quagga some acacia. Uh, acacia. Acacia? Acacia? Uh, the savannah trees. So we're gonna go get them some acacia saplings, put them in here, grow them. We might have some actually tape, but we're gonna look at the plant sorting system, the PSS, pretty soon because that's part of what I want to show you guys today. But the pathway leads around back into the prehistoric parkway. And someone said I left Laney's exhibit open. I'm gonna double check because I don't think I left both doors open. Yeah, I closed one of the doors, but I did leave that door open. Laney, do you have any more eggs for us? I don't know if Laney could fit through there, too. That's another another good thing to consider. I don't know if you would fit through there, Laney. I love how we used these as little decorative pieces, even if they won't grow. Hi, Laney. You are amazing. I love you, you giant terror bird, you. All right, I love how Lily and Tate didn't follow us in there. They're like, no, we're good, Mom. We don't need to go and mess with that guy. And then let's see what happens. Okay, so to gather up these ferns to share with Calf, yeah, to gather up the ferns to share with Calf, I'm pretty sure we'll have to use shears. Because I want to gather up some of these ferns. Hi, you two! Who's my good puppies? Who's my good puppies? I want to gather up these ferns um, so that we can share them with Calf and Lubot, since they've got some dinosaurs that need to eat those. But we're not done yet, you guys. We're not done yet. There's more new path! Look at this! Look at this! This beautiful limestone path, and it breaks off into dirt path. Like I said, this could have been a straight line, and I was like, you know what? I like the organic look. Hey, Dr. Nami! How are you doing, sir? 
I like the organic look uh, a lot better. So instead of a straight line, we have a little curving path. Do do do. More little lamps. These beautiful sandstone lamps, which I love. And then we wind around here. It took me actually a few hours to do this, but it was very relaxing. I watched The Walking Dead. And look, 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 look. We walk up here. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love how like natural, it just feels like you're walking through a little forest path now. And there's a proper path to walk on to get from one part of the zoo to another. I'm not falling down the holes anymore. It's just amazing. And then you walk over this way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have an awesome oak bridge. Absolutely so cool. It's just a wooden bridge because this is technically like the temperate forest area where you're going to see our temperate forest aviary. I'm thinking of putting like a fox uh, kind of as the transitionary transition. The transition animal. There we go. In between the temperate forest parkway and, or the temperate forest and the prehistoric parkway and the bamboo uh, forest because this is where the temperate forest animals are. And this is where we're going to have probably the fox. And further beyond that is going to be where we start the Asian forest with the bamboo. And then over there is our prehistoric parkway. So I'm thinking maybe a fox will go in here and some other exhibits. But there's a bridge since it was suddenly a giant cliff. I was like, huh, that's a big old cliff right there. So to get over the, the cliff, we have built a bridge. That means no more falling down, which is so awesome. No more falling down. No more falling down holes. And then it leads around to our birdhouse. So we're here at our temperate forest bird aviary. And this path will take you under a nutmeg tree and around and through, down, back, to here. It'll bring you right back to where you can go to the reptile house or you can go back towards the main areas. And if you pop up here and actually go through the bird aviary, mm-hmm. But pop inside. Oh, look, Bob the Third's wandering around. There you go, Bob. I will move you. I took all of the fences down from his house because I was really worried that he was going to suffocate in the walls like his mom. So we'll have to take care of Bob uh, pretty, pretty soon in the future. We'll move him. And also, I'm a little concerned that the birds are drowning in this pond. So I'm debating what to do about that. It doesn't seem to have a huge impact on the population. But I just don't want to lose the birds. But I really like this pond. So we're going to have to figure out what to do. Are you, are you showing me that it's a little dangerous little bird? But see, he seemed to do okay. It might be one of those things where, like, the birds have a natural lifespan and we have to go back to Twilight Forest to catch more of them. Huh. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But then, if you come over on this side of our awesome... No, Bob, you gotta stay in there. Of our awesome temperate forest aviary, you can see we've got another path. And this path actually goes right past the back of the deer exhibit. And right here is the forest plant sorting shed because I am full up on our plant sorting shed. We are jam packed full of plants. And so we need to get another area kind of like we have with our berries where the plants will be sorted. So I've been working really hard at making a path. And this path actually goes all the way down. In fact, I'll show you guys. I hope I don't get attacked by something like hiding down here. I'm using freaking bat pick plus two. Nope. Here we go. Moss slugger. Got moss slugger ready should someone decide to attack me. But here is where the pipe sorting system goes by from the plant sorting shed. And so what we're going to do is we are going to add pipes over here. And I'm going to do this off camera because it takes forever to do. But I'm going to add pipes down here that will grab a whole bunch of the temperate plants. So let me see. Temperate. That doesn't really show you guys. It's like forest. Like these forest plants that show up. Um... They, these are not... Twilight Forest Portal, interesting. These are not the only ones. Basically, any plant that I look at, and I would be like, yeah, that's kind of like your temperate forest sort of plant. Like, let's see what, what PMP has for us. Plant, there we go. Like, there's a lot. Like, um, I think maybe we'll send mushrooms. They're going to go to their own special area in our mushroom cave on, next to our house and under Junior and Gigi's house. But, you know, a lot of the berries, they're all headed one spot. Um, so they're pretty good. Those are desert plants. The azaleas go to their own spot, too. The begonias, you know, there's a lot of plants where I'm kind of on the fence, but definitely, like, the bellflowers I would consider kind of like a forest plant. Um, the ferns are going to be sent all the way down to the fern area because we're going to use the pipes to sort all of these puppies. So that's, that's kind of the goal here. Let's see. Like, the lupines? 
I could consider those forest plants. The delphiniums, let's see. You know, and it's more like the things like the Jacob's Ladders or, um, or like the violets I would consider like a temperate forest plant. The fuchsias probably I would consider those a temperate forest plant too. Um, some of the meadow grasses maybe? I guess there's not as many, like definitely the deceiving trilliums and the vanilla leaf and definitely the broad meadow sweet. Pretty much any of the plants where I'd kind of look at them, like the, the club moss and definitely the alpine the alpine bellflower like i'll send all of those to the lead plant is actually a savannah plant so you know i have to go through i have to look at them there's shrubs and different things this is why i do it off camera because there's a lot of deciding about which plant should go where but we're going to hook it up and we'll send the ferns down this way too it'll go through the pipe system through here and then it's going to go up and connect into these chests right here so that we'll have our, our forest type plants that we would expect to find in the temperate forest end up in here and then the ferns will continue on we'll eventually get the pipe system set up so the ferns will continue all the way on and they will go off to the little fern grotto that we've got over there so those are the goals and as you can see the little path winds around down and stops right here for now but it leads up and you can actually properly walk up a little stairway path to the birdhouse, which is awesome. And that makes me so happy. But oh my goodness, like it, it's amazing. It's amazing what just adding that path does to make this whole zoo feel more official. I had no idea that just adding those pathways would make this entire place feel like more like a real establishment. I'm so proud. I feel like we've done something very important, even though it's so simple as just laying a path down. I guess that says a lot for the effect of infrastructure on a community. So the infrastructure seems to be helping out quite a bit. We still have a ton of work to do and a lot of changes to add in. And I'm really excited to start working on some of our new projects. But we've got it. We've got it started, Lillian Tate. We've got it started. So I'm very excited about that. Whew. But all right, guys, tomorrow is one of our big days. It's our Saturday special. And I've got a very special special in mind because we do need to start expanding into the Asian forest area. And there happens to be a forest in need, a forest that is being deforested at an alarming rate. And the loss of precious plant matter is just overwhelming me. So I think we might be going on a rescue mission, a plant rescue mission tomorrow as a big part of all of our adventures. And we might be doing a little bit old fashioned good adventuring. Some field biology, biology explorations might be coming up tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. And that poor firefly, it didn't make it. I'm like a moth to flame. Like a moth to flame, my friends. All right, everybody. But remember, if you could, please leave a like to help support us feeding the animals. And as always, stay curious, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.